the agreements that were reached in Cancun, which were affirmed in Durban, uh, say that uh, when red, is, uh, red activities are being implemented, they should respect the rights of indigenous peoples. They noted the existence of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. They, uh, it, it includes the need for full and effective participation of indigenous peoples. And of course, it also uh, talks about good forest governance and the need to address land tenure issues and the drivers of deforestation as well as to conserve biodiversity and to conserve natural forests. So all of these things are good for us if it's being implemented, you know. And that is where the big prob challenge lies because how, how, uh, how sincere are, are the governments in terms of really following and uh, implementing these safeguards? Because that has always been the historical problem between indigenous peoples and governments and corporations for that matter. It's always... Uh, uh, a, a struggle between who owns the forest, who controls the forest, who should benefit from the forest. No? And, and the red uh, framework as of now recognizes those kinds of the rights, etc., etc. And so, so the, the big challenge is, are they going to implement it? What will it take for them to implement these safeguards? And how should indigenous peoples be prepared to be able to assert and claim and ensure that the governments are really going to follow that agreement.